Hello there, welcome to my bench once again, Hugh here. And in this fly tying tutorial, I'm going to tie up a very simple streamer pattern, but also effective. And it also can be changed up and tied in a variety of colors. This guy is just simply the black marabou streamer. You can tie it in yellows, olives, actually any color marabou you wish. And just alternate your hackle and change up your body color to match. So I figured I'd give this guy a tie for you, a simple, nice, easy streamer pattern. So we'll get him out of the vise, a new hook in, and I'll get going. The hook is a TMC 9395 straight eye streamer hook, and I'm tying him on a size 6 for you. Get that locked in here, and the thread is UTC 70 black. So we'll start right behind the eye here, just an eye length behind, and work our way back to the bend of the hook. And you don't have to be touching wraps, just a good thread base for our materials. And we'll come to just about the bend. Come in and snip off that tag end. And a few more wraps back to just about the barb there. Okay, first material is our tail. And it's simply some red saddle hackle fibers. So what I'll do is pull off about a medium sized bunch of those for the tail. Just like so here. And just keep your tips even as you can. There we go. And we'll measure that up about hook gap by the length and tie him in on top. Nice little pinch loop there and come up. Just like so. I'm going to wrap those all the way up forward. Those ends of the hackle there. And we're going to move up to right about two eye, eye lengths behind the eye there and the body of the original calls for a black dubbing like a black goat dubbing or rabbit dubbing but I'm gonna switch it up just make it a little easier here and I'm gonna use some micro black chenille a real fine chenille so we'll tie that in on top right back here right to in front of our tail just like so Okay, then wrap forward. We want to tie the body off right there, and I'm going to throw in a half hitch. So I'm going to use my uh, rotary to wrap that body. Swing over the bobbin cradle and rest the bobbin on there. Okay, and before I wrap, like a lot of most body materials I do, I'll put a little bead of head spin along the top. Just go right along like so. There we go. Just for added durability. Okay, now we'll begin to wrap the body. First wrap right in front of the tail, nice and snug. Keep tension on it. And just begin to wrap forward here. All the way up to where we want to tie them off here. Okay, we're just about there. A couple more wraps, and that's where I want to tie them off right there. So, move the bobbin cradle out of the way. And bring my thread up here. I'm going to come in underneath with a couple wraps. Like so. And a couple forward wraps and wrap back. Locking that in. Come in and snip him off nice and close. And a couple more wraps there to make everything secured down good. Okay, our next step is the throat, same as the tail, so I'm just going to flip him up, side down for a second, and pinch off another amount of barbels off the uh, hackles here, and I'm going to pinch those off, tie these in for the throat, okay, and we don't want it back too far, just keep a short throat on this guy. Come in and pinch that down. Right back, and there's our throat. You don't want it too heavy, keep it kind of sparse. Come in and cut those excess materials out of the way. And we'll bind those down good here. Okay, and we'll flip him back around. Okay, one more step to go, and that's our wing. And the wing's really straightforward. It's just some black marabou. I have one selected here, and I'm going to 
you'll find Mary be a lot easier to just if you can wet it down a little just get some water and wet it down or you you wet your fingers and slick it back just wraps in and easier to handle while you're first tying it here and I want that to come back just beyond the tail slightly so we'll come in and tie this guy in with a pinch loop like so here come up one more wrap down and we'll snug him in good with three or four securing wraps okay make sure it's right on top looks good then I'll come in and snip that excess mirabu off just like so here just work your scissors in there and get it nice and close in there okay that should be pretty good just don't want any in the eye of the hook is all okay now push those back come in in front here make a few wraps and I'm going to wrap back on that just like so there we go okay now all we got left to do is build the head in a whip finish it's simple as that so I'll build a nice neat little head here a few wraps okie dokie now it looks like we're ready for our just about ready to make a whip finish here okay bring in my whip finisher and we'll do a four or five turn whip finish just like so here come down snap that in Okay, give it a little snug pull there, and I'll snip off the excess, there we go, just whip that down again here, okay and there he is, another size 6 black marabou streamer, all I'm going to do now is take some bone dry, and come in on the thread wraps there on the head. Go around there. Okay. Just gives it a nice glossy finish on the head, so. spin we'll cure this guy up here take too long for bone dry to cure okay there we have it he's a done deal like I was saying a very simple but effective streamer which can be tied in a lot of different color variations so, like always, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, and if you can give this guy a tie up, throw him in your box, and try him next season. So anyway, thank you for watching, and like always, if you're a new viewer and you like this video and you'd like to see more, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And the little bell too, so you'll be informed when I uh, put up new videos. And uh, until next time everyone, happy tying. I'll see you again soon. And so long for now folks.